Well, as of today, local law enforcement is using a new nationwide service to help local missing people. It's called A Child is Missing. This is a free service that will help in the early search and recovery of missing children. Michelle Costa is live in the newsroom with more. Michelle, what can we expect with this? Well, Joe, this is really for those crucial moments immediately after someone has gone missing. Now, today I caught up with local law enforcement training on this new system. This will be the 911 for missing children. It's just that one time that it affects everybody. A child goes missing every 40 seconds. It's a statistic that patrol officer Kirk Rose now wants to help combat. The solution, a new program for a more immediate response time. It sounds like a great tool that we can use to more rapidly get out the information that we need to recover a child, missing adult, or, or college student. What it's going to do is bring agencies together so we can more quickly respond to missing child incidents and put out alerts to the public to help us in, re in recovering these children. We kind of fill the gap between an AMBER alert and what law enforcement deals with more often. Um, the AMBER alerts for 17 or under has to be uh, abduction or have a suspect in an abduction. We help with anyone that goes missing under 21, also the elderly. By the time we get the information out based on an AMBER alert, uh, that missing person or child could be miles and miles from where we, they were last seen. Every day, 3,000 children and elderly citizens reported missing nationwide. But now law enforcement will have a chance to help them faster, and it's all in the palm of their hands. The program uses computer mapping systems and trained technicians with the capacity to place 1,000 customized message phone calls in one minute to places where someone has gone missing. To date, the program has been credited with more than 790 safe assisted recoveries. And if you would like to add your phone number to their list, simply log on to our website at KMB.com for more details. Live in the newsroom, I'm Michelle Costa for KMBT News. All right, thanks a lot, Michelle.